today I'm going to be showing you some fashion pieces I picked out from the Boohoo Spring Break collection. I can't believe I'm saying spring already, but uh, actually I can. This winter has been kind of long, if we're being honest. But this video is in partnership with Boohoo, which I'm super excited about because I love me some Boohoo. Uh, and I... There are so many glorious things on the site, but I tried to pick out a variety of options because when it comes to spring break or just spring in general, I know the climate is going to vary for everyone. And where I live in the Midwest, it's kind of this a little bit of both. Some springs we have a super warm spring break and then other times it's like a polar vortex slash ice storm extravaganza and we never know what we're gonna get. So I guess this variety of pieces that I'm about to show you kind of reflects that as well. So uh, that way it doesn't matter where you're at in the country or the world or wherever, you will be able to find some pieces hopefully that you're into. Everything I mentioned by the way will be linked down in the description box for you. So you can click around and shop the spring break collection for yourself or just go on Boohoo and shop for a new spring wardrobe or all of the things. Also I've been mentioning sizes down in the description as well. So if you're wondering what size I got and how it fits and all that stuff, I, I been doing that down in the description so that way we don't have to be here all day uh, but yeah anyways uh, long story longer uh, let's just get into it right, so the first thing I got from the boohoo spring line is this star and moon print shirt and I am all about it the stars and moons and suns and it's got a little bit of color where it's got this little bit of orange and yellow and the shirt itself is white and it does come in black as well. So if you're a ride or die, I only wear black clothes fan. They do have this in black. So I think this is one of those really great transitional pieces from winter into spring and even into early summer. So I really am excited about this. Plus it's white so it will stay cool feeling so the sun won't really beat down on it so I can wear it a little bit longer when it starts warming up here. But I even think if you went to a beach destination at night, in the evening or whatever, you could totally wear this with a skirt, even a flowy kind of maxi skirt or even like mini skirt or some really cute black shorts, like high-waisted shorts would be really cute with this. Or you could wear it on a, a cooler climate vacation, like a mountain vacation, or I don't know what you're doing, but where you could wear it with high-waisted pants and then a faux fur jacket or a leather jacket or something like that. So I feel like this is a really good piece for either way. So the next thing I got was this leopard. It's this really pretty sage green, by the way, loving this green color. And the leopard prints have a little bit of a rose color outline, just a very subtle outline to the leopard print. And they called it on the site, they called it a tea dress, a leopard print tea dress. And it kind of reminds me more of a 90s baby doll type of dress, which I'm obsessed with. This dress here is going to be my go-to spring dress this year. It is so perfect for, you can grunge it down, you can dress it up, so you can get that whole full-on Courtney Love 90s look with this dress for sure by adding some fishnets, kind of some torn fishnets if you want, some Doc Martens. You could wear, uh, if you live in a cooler climate, you could wear a faux fur coat with it, a leather jacket with it if it's not super cold but cooler in your area, or a denim jacket and then go from there. You know, you can kind of just take the layers down as it starts getting warmer wherever you're going, or you could just wear it by itself. But either way, I love this, perfect for spring. I think the color is spot on for spring. I feel like sage green is a really nice toned down color for those of us who don't like to branch out too much. So I love this, love the color, love all the vibes into it, can't get enough, next. All right, so next thing I got is going to be something that I'm going to be wearing probably every day of my life in the spring and beyond. This is a black and white striped t-shirt dress and it's not just any t-shirt dress, which I already love t-shirt dresses, but the texture of the fabric is actually soft. It's not a crushed velvet feeling. It's not like that. It is just a soft, almost feels like cashmere, but it's not cashmere feel to it and I wasn't expecting that actually when I ordered it and when I got it I was like "Ooh, I love this this is an oversized t-shirt dress so it has a very a-line fit to it so there's not a lot of shape 
It is very stretchy. Holy moly, look at that. It is very stretchy. It's giving me, honestly, some Pugsley Adams vibes, which I don't hate. I actually love that it's giving me Pugsley Adams vibes. I'm living for any and all Adams vibes. I am envisioning this in the spring for me for kind of more of an everyday look, which could mean either I wear it with tennis shoes or with Doc Martens or a high knee boot, like a Daria looking boot, if that makes sense. And if it's a little too cool out, I can throw a leather jacket over it or a denim jacket over it. And I think that would just be a whole look. All right, so the next thing I got was this leopard print, which by the way, it looks like leopard print is a trend for me so far in 2019. Anyways, got this jumpsuit or it's a boiler suit or whatever you want to call them. What else have a flight suit? And I am so, we've had this conversation before, I'm really into it. This one is even more magical because this was giving me serious 70s jumpsuit rock and roll vibes that I was feeling. So the jumpsuit itself has a very corduroy feel, corduroy, um, but it's not a super thick, uh, squishy corduroy, if that makes sense, like the winter corduroy. This is more of a corduroy, I keep, how many times can I say that? Uh, but it's more of a corduroy look, and, but it's, the, the fabric itself is thinner material, so more appropriate for spring. The button's down the center, and then it has a belt that goes around the waist, and you can tighten it to make it look more fitted and cinch in that waist, or you could kind of leave it looser if you want more of that. And then it has two pockets, one on each side of the chest area, so it gives it more of that boiler suit or utility suit vibe, and it actually has pockets functional pockets in the front. There's nothing I love more than a dress or a jumpsuit or anything with pockets. I just love, sometimes you just don't know what to do with your hands. And the top also has a collar, a full on collar here. So once again, you could button all the way up and add a little tie situation if you wanted to add even more to that 70s kind of rock and roll chic vibe. Also, I, the one thing I love about these types of boiler suits or uh, flight suits is that if you do get a little warm, so if you're on spring break and maybe it gets a little warm out, like, oh gosh, I'm a little hot. If you wear something underneath the top, so like a, maybe a cami or some sort of tank top or something like that underneath this, you can take off the arms, just kind of bring the arms around, tie them, and you can have pants. And I know that sounds kind of interesting, but you have a belt there, so it will stay put. And not only that, then you'll have the tie look. I love this jumpsuit. Love the 70s vibes I'm getting from this. All right, so the next thing I got, I love it because number one, it's animal print. And number two, it's my second favorite color, olive green, or what I like to say, barf green. So yeah, this one is a variation of greens within this snakeskin print. It's a bodysuit. Wait, 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 hold on. A tank top. No, rewind. Mesh snakeskin sleeveless bodysuit with a turtleneck. Uh, everything about this, there's so many things happening in this that are my favorite things ever. And I feel like this can go a whole bunch of different ways for spring. So for the obvious choice would be to wear it on a tropical vacation. It is snakeskin, it is sleeveless, it is mesh, it is ready to go for some sort of heat. And for the cooler climates, you can of course throw a leather jacket over this. You could also wear this underneath button up tops, or if you have like a super low cut top or a low cut kind of dress. Uh, the way I styled it with one of the dresses coming up, there's a dress that is all the way buttoned up. I wore this under that, and this kind of gave this little pop of sage green, whatever greens, and then also a little bit of texture with that that snake skin print. So I love all of the things you can do with this. So I just mentioned the snakeskin mesh tank top piece. So if you are living a, in a cooler climate and you want a jacket or something to wear over it that's going to provide some warmth, I got this and I am super excited about it. This is the perfect piece to wear with items that maybe, maybe it's not warm enough to wear them yet. So this is an oversized trucker jacket is what it's called. I want to say, it's, well, I'm going to look up what it's called because that's going to give you a better idea. Cropped faux fur teddy trucker. So this is a trucker jacket. It is kind of an oversized, or did I just buy it oversized? Yeah, I got a USA 6, so I went a size up on this. It is kind of a bulkier teddy feeling, which I am all about that teddy trend. I love the feel of it. It is super warm and it kind of goes with a little bit of everything. And that's why I love this because it is a little bit cropped, but not overly cropped. There's also a collar. Am I holding this the right way? No, I'm so upside down. <laughs> no wonder I'm like, where is the collar on this? It was 
towards the bottom. Okay. Um, anyways, it's got these little non-functional flat pockets here. It kind of adds to that 90s, early 2000s look to it. I could live in this thing. Seriously, it is so comfortable. It goes with everything. You can wear it with a band tee and jean situation. You could wear it with that mesh tank top with some high-waisted black pants. You could wear it with that striped t-shirt dress that I mentioned. You could wear it over that tea dress, the leopard tea dress. So anything that you need to transform, you could totally throw this over it and get a, still get a really cool edgy look, but actually be warm. The next item I got, I actually got that jacket I just mentioned, I got because of this dress that I'm about to show you. And prepare yourself, put on your sunglasses because it is a bright one. This is a neon yellow baby tee, but bodycon dress, but it is a very mini bodycon, hugs you in all the right places kind of dress. What I love about this and my whole vibe with this is this neon witch type of vibe that I've been obsessing over. I feel like we've had this conversation before, but it's basically mixing a dark style with a neon vibe. I think somebody called it psychedelic goth and I thought that was amazing and hilarious and I love it because that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. It's this very bright neon in your face with a witch hat, a trench coat, or witchy boots with it, fishnets. I also believe that came in neon green, and did it come in pink or orange? I don't know how to pick the yellow cause I couldn't stop, I love it. My nails are currently matching. The next thing I got was this leopard print, they called it on the site a midaxi skirt, which I love cause it's a between a midi and a maxi. So this one, it is a sea green, Leopard print, once again, can't get enough of the leopard print, mid axi skirt. It has a tie in the front. It kind of ties into a bow. And let me just tell you, this skirt is giving me serious sea witch type of vibes. And for the most part, I feel like people would see it and not think that at all. But as soon as I tried it on, I was like, this looks like mermaid goth straight from the sea, serving it up. There's a couple things you could do with this. You could wear a band tee with it, make it more rock and roll with the leopard print, throw on some black biker boots and call it a day. You could wear what I did and this is what I loved and was giving me the mermaid vibes. I wore a mesh long sleeve bodysuit that I actually got from Boohoo a while back with this, tied in the front and it gave it this, seriously, it, for some reason I was getting wishy mermaid vibes. I don't know why, maybe it was the hair and the, sea green, but that's what I was getting uh, from it. But if you are in a warmer climate and the long sleeve mesh top is a little too warm, although it is mesh, you could get one of those mesh, I believe they have them on there, or you don't have to get mesh, you could just get a full on tank top bodysuit kind of thing, you could wear that with this as well. Uh, if you're in a cooler climate, you could of course wear this because it is a longer skirt. You could of course wear this with a sweater or a, you know, like a faux fur coat like I've talked about before, or a leather jacket. I feel like those are my go-tos because I keep mentioning them. Probably wear it with a sweater where I'm at, but in my mind, I'm on a beach, okay? All right, speaking of mesh tops, I got this very beautiful, very Victorian vampire type of vibes, very romantic type of vibes. It is a mesh, of course, I never over mesh. I don't know that I'll ever get over it, uh, but it is a mesh, what do you call it? Peplum, peplum, peplum? I don't really know how to pronounce it, but you know what I'm saying, where it kind of like, you know, has a waist and then kind of goes, you'll see it in the try on. Yeah, the neck is a high neck, kind of very stretchy, but roughly almost looking, and it's very high neck, which I love. As much as I do love a mock neck, I love me a true turtleneck. I'm almost like the higher the neck, the better. I want to look like a Victorian painting. I just love that whole look. And then the sleeves themselves, they have this layered look at the bottom, give this very Victorian vibes just all in my face. Also, it has this little opening in the front by the neck, like the chest area has a little, it's a key. I think they call it maybe a keyhole, but this is a long keyhole. So it does expose a little bit of skin there, but overall just really love this. This neck is just, I'm all about this life. The next thing I got was this gray plaid. I think they called it like a kilt skirt, a mini kilt skirt thing because it is pleated in the back and the front is not pleated. It is a little bit on the sides, but the front itself has more of a smooth look. First of all, I really love this gray color for spring. Uh, you could style it more clueless style and wear it with like a white baby tee, some white 
uh, tennis shoes or some white knee highs with it with some black Mary Janes with it uh, for more of a Nancy from the craft look or something like that you could wear this with fishnet tights and even a I don't know uh, like a button-up white shirt maybe tie it in the front and wear some rosaries do the whole dark goth kind of feel all right next up I got this full-on this one's giving me witchy Western vibes and it is a long dress and it is a whole lot of dress so it's gonna be better probably to show you on the try-on but I am still going to explain it to you so they called this on boohoo the suede at button through belted mini shirt dress not mini, midi shirt dress, sorry. Huge difference. It's got that, it kind of said suede. It definitely has that faux suede feel. It's basically a button down from top to bottom shirt dress. And the buttons themselves are snaps. That's also what gives it Western vibes to me. A lot of Western shirts, you know how they have the snaps on them. So it buttons all the way down and then it has a belt that goes around the waist. Um, hopefully I'm explaining it okay so when you see it in the try on you're like oh I get what you're saying yeah totally. So they have it in a camel color and I believe a blush color as well and those definitely gave me more western vibes so if you are into that kind of country western or 70s kind of vibes uh, the and you love that kind of nude camel kind of neutral look they do have other colors in this. Overall I really love the shape of this dress it is so comfortable on so it could be worn to work. Some of you have asked me like, hey, do you have some work suggestions or some dressed up, darker dressed up suggestions, like that kind of thing. And this is one of those dresses that you could totally wear to work. You could wear to a nice brunch. You could wear to a nicer party. All right, so last clothing item is, this is the half zip ribbed long sleeve top. I love this look with the plaid skirt, that plaid kind of schoolgirl skirt. I also think this would be really cute with a high-waisted jean, even a blue jean, or a black vinyl skirt if you wanted to do more of an edgy look. That could look really cool with it. So I keep forgetting that I need more white basics in my closet, and this is definitely a really great white basic that will go with just about everything in your closet. And it's long sleeve, so you can wear it in a cooler climate, but it's light enough to where you could still make it work in a warmer climate. So the last thing I got from the Boohoo Spring Collection is this really amazing lime-ish, yellowish, greenish, chartreuse-ish chartreuse uh, snakeskin bag. It's got that little, you know, drawstring kind of bucket look to it. And I love a pop of color and of course a pop of pattern, mixing patterns, but also I think this would be really cute with an all black outfit. I also thought this would be really good just to put in your suitcase for travel because it's kind of that perfect size where you can fit your phone and your wallet and all of the things that you need to, maybe set a little bit of makeup in this, but it's not too small. But you also don't want something that's too big and too heavy to where your shoulder hurts or just a pain. And this is small enough to where it could even just fold up and fit right into you know your tote bag or whatever so it, it's not going to take up a ton of space so all right that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed all the things i had to show you from the boohoo spring collection if you did give it a thumbs up say hey go hey down in the comments because you know i love talking to you also let me know down in the comments what you're doing this spring or what you're most looking forward to are you looking forward to the weather are you going on a vacation are you organizing your home and deep cleaning and getting ready for your spring cleaning. Let me know down in the comments because I would love to know what you guys are up to. Uh, also, don't forget everything in this video that I just mentioned is linked down in the description box for you. So you can click those links and shop over on Boohoo. Their whole spring collection is up now. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.